G'day. How are you? Let's go. It's all systems go for Peter Andre. Hiya. Can you smell it? Would you love him if he wore yeah. that? But I don't think he should. With his loved ones around him. <laughs> We've all just bonded even more, you know. We're a family now. And a new baby on the way. Meh! I'm so happy. She's going to be a great mum. This has really come at the right time and falling in love, having a child. He's entering a brave new world. Whoa! <laughs> Good, let's go, let's go. I'm freaking out. I know you are. Life is really interesting at the moment. And loving every moment. <laughs> Mm. I love him, he's so enthusiastic. Lollipops. Good It's early morning and Pete's at the barn with Emily. Claire, I need a new coffee machine. Pete, you do I do, I do. Emily is almost six months pregnant. <laughs> no, 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 no. We could be here till six o'clock tonight, ladies and gents. And she needs a dress for the Pride of Britain Awards. Is it fit? We're thinking it might fit. <laughs> and the little bump is cute. Yeah, it is. You've got the tiniest bump in the world. It's literally just your baby. I think, a, I think a woman pregnant looks amazing. Well, thank you. I'm not sure I agree. It's only your baby. It's not as if it's everywhere else. You know it's it just that baby I bump. Think, but my, I'm a pear shape, aren't I? Pear shaped? How you can even say that, Emily? You're just I am. <laughs> Listen, skinny mini. My career might get to that stage, but you never. And all the baby talk is turning Claire, Claire Voyant. I thought you were having a girl and now I think you're having a boy. You do? Yeah. Don't know why, I just really think now that you're going to have a boy. If I really had a choice, it would be a boy. I think you're going to have a boy. And if she had a choice, it would be a girl. We'll have one or the other, so one of us will be happy. Well, we're going to be happy anyway. Can I just ask you something? Yes. What room in your house is going to be your new baby's room? We've decided where it's going to be. But we don't, we're going to make it neutral because we don't know what we're having. But we're going to need Moses baskets, we're going to need cots, we're going to need prams, we're going to need car pram that goes into a Why car seat. Why are you both together today? Why don't you make a list of what you have got to get and then I'll have to put it into your itinerary for you to go shopping. I know it sounds stupid, I didn't want to do it too early. No, no, well you're nearly, you're, you're nearly six months. That's a, we've got three months left. And then, well, do, then, all, then you're going to hear, Meh! and then Meh! layings uh, after January. But no, that's why I'm making the most of it. I'm making the most of it. Hey, and coffee machines will become even more popular in our household. So, with a growing to-do list, they're heading home. Do you need to do your shopping list for your? And I'm painting the gates. Peter Andre, 60-minute makeover. Why do you still call me Peter Andre? You've known me for. It's Andre. You, you've called me Peter Andre for nearly 20 years. Peter Andre, you've never brought it up before. Peter Andre, it's like, uh, like A-R-N. You call me like Peter Andre, like, like. Uh, Say it then, what's your real name? Peter. Peter Andre. Peter Andre. No, it's like if I was sitting on someone called Dre, I would be Andre. Peter Andre. Perfect. Well, that's what I always say. No, you say. don't, you go Peter Andre. Peter Andre, Peter Andre. Peter Andre. Ah, oh, oh, after Andre, nearly Peter 20 Andre. years. It's 12 o'clock, I Let's haven't go. done any work. I need you to go. Goodbye, I, I love you. Bye, guys. Oh, my God. Back at the house and Claire's pep talk has hit a nerve with Pete. I mean, Ems is nearly six months. And, you know, just, I know she's not showing, so you automatically think, hello, bish, bish. Uh, you automatically think, oh, you, you almost forget sometimes. Baby's gonna come upon us very quickly. So we've got to be prepared. 
and there's no time like the present. Right, let's go and have a look at this nursery. Where it's gonna be. It is actually quite a big room. It's a beautiful room. We've got to get in here, I reckon, a single bed and a cot. Uh, okay, I think I've caught all that. <laughs> but jokes aside, Pete just wants Emily to be happy. You've got to let the mum do what she wants. Really, you've got to sort it. It's, it's a big thing, and it's a big thing for me too, but she's so excited. You know, I think that's amazing. She's going to be a great mum. And then we great. need a little chest of drawers somewhere. OK. Which could go under the window, couldn't it? Where's yeah. the cot going to go in? Middle. Either facing that way or that way. Maybe that way, where you've got all the pictures up there, beautiful. And an armchair. I know, because we want the armchair facing the toe. When you're doing... You know oh, I'm going to... No, you can't do any of the feeds. I can't do the feeds because you're, uh, you're going uh, <laughs> El Naturel on the breastfeedage, which is great. Give yourself an express pump. It's going to be weird because I've seen an express pump. I've only ever used bottles. I, I've never done this before. Well, you can't actually breastfeed yourself, so you will still have to use a bottle. Right. <laughs> yeah, I love you. I knew that. <laughs> Nursery addressed. Pete wants to ensure that the rest of the house is ship shape. This is exciting. Right, let's tackle that other room now. I'm definitely getting more into getting the house done and sorting it all out. Instinctively, you know, you're expecting an arrival and you just sort of want to make everything right and ready. I can't handle cluttering. I'm decluttering everything. We're decluttering everything. And while Pete starts Operation Clear Out... Yeah, yeah, that's mine. How oh, good. good. It's all hitting home for Emily. It's a bit mental, but I'm excited. And a little scared as well, if I'm honest, because... It's all new for me. I mean, Pete's had two kids already, so he knows what he's doing. Whoa, what is this? This is a proper microphone. Denim shirt. This room needs to be done. It needs to... Oh, Scrabble. I'm not even going to try and lift on this. No, I don't want you to. And although Pete's a parenting pro, Emily's got extra help to keep the nerves at bay. It's very useful having a mum who's a paediatrician because she knows what she's doing and she'll be there with me when the baby's born. Mum and, mum and Pete are my... <laughs> they can be my birthing partners. She's just so excited and all, like, you know, everything... All the little things like this we get given, I take pictures and I send it to her and she just loves it. That's just ruined the floor. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> here and open the door, can't you? You're a, you know. Yeah, it's great. Door comes out this way. At least Emily's day is going a little better. I actually don't think it's too bad a couch, to be honest. I mean, it's not the most comfy so forever, but it's not too uh, bad. Uh, oh, Jesus. Are you OK? Yes. Sorry, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> She's even got a look at her face to say, well, I told ya. Coming up. Hi, Mum, what happened? Pete gets a worrying call. What kind of problem could it be? My mum is the best person in the world. I don't, I don't want anything, yeah. Yeah, please, God. She looks unbelievably stunning in that dress. And Emily is stealing the limelight. It's a big day. Today. It's early evening and Pete and Emily are in London preparing for the Pride of Britain Awards. Pride of Britain is not an event where it's about the faces going to it, it's about the people that are there for the causes and for what they've done. Um, and I think it's just such an amazing, an amazing thing to be at. But Emily is feeling nervous about showing off her growing bump. At the moment, it's at that in-between stage where it doesn't really look like a bump. Well, I guess it sort of does, <coughs> but it just makes me look kind of bigger, so... When it's a proper bump, yeah. I, won't, I won't mind so much, I don't think. It's just a matter of... You have got a proper bump. 
Is it proper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just quite unnatural having about 200 people all looking at you all at the same time. And I'm quite, I don't know, I'm quite shy, so I'm... Thing is, normally, for stuff like this, I've got a great pair of control pants. Obviously, I can't really wear them anymore, so... Uh... <laughs> I don't think you need control pants when you're pregnant. I think people might understand that you've well, got I know. Them. <laughs> but they're good on the bum as well, you see. They're great. Yeah, but you, you don't need control pants on your bum. People like me need control pants. <laughs> you should see these control pants. They're amazing. They give everyone a good bum. Very nice. Emily hasn't been photographed much the last couple of months. Her body's changing, she's feeling different about it. It's not necessarily something she wants to go out and do straight away and get in a dress and show off her bump. You know, lots of people like to do that. Emily's not necessarily that type of person. And um, they had perhaps at their house the other day. And I think for us, it's better just to do it in an event, get the picture out there, and then they won't have to have that attention on them. Shiny, non-shiny, shiny. I'd go shiny, I think it just... Yeah, yeah I think I probably would actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have you got black socks? Yes. I've got one. I don't think I'd be comfortable in anything, would I? That's the thing. I've also velc, basically. I couldn't find any double-sided sticky tape. There's like special tape you can get to stick the dress to you so that you don't have straps and stuff. Couldn't find any. So I've got heavy duty office velcro. With the dress firmly in place. Right guys, we've got to go, eh? Yeah. Let's go, come on. They're heading to the red carpet. No, I'm not nervous at all. Well, you? I know you're not. You never are. I am. It's horrible when you get. Ner it's just because it's because it's a photo. That's why it's. You know, you you love it's being. Not that, it's just the the mo the walking up there just makes me nervous. It just I just get nervous. And with such a star-studded event, Emily has every reason to feel the pressure. While Pete meets his fans, Emily has time to take it all in. It's a big day for the bump today. Now the, the red carpet's over, I feel happier. It always makes me a bit nervous. <laughs> then once it's done, I like really relax. I can enjoy the enjoy the evening. But no, it's fine. It's fine. Wonderful lady. But as they head inside, they're still in demand. Nice to see you. You're right. Hey, you're okay. So what about the cravings then? Not Peter's record, I guess. <laughs> well, you'll be surprised. As they make their way to their seats, it's been a great start to the night. She's accepting the fact that she's pregnant, she can't hide it, but I think it is a big change in any woman's life, but I think she's starting to embrace it now. Looks unbelievably stunning in that dress, and I think, you know, why wouldn't you want to show off when you look like her? Bye-bye. Good night. The next day, and following a glamorous evening, it's back to the day job for Pete. Am I early or am I late? This is the question. We've got about 15 phone interviews lined up for 60 minute makeover. And um, he's basically got to sit and repeat himself over and over and over again. But um, all worth it because obviously we want the show to be a success for its first series with Pete as host. So should be a good day. It's a job that I loved so much so I'm going to love talking about. That is for sure. But before Pete can get started, there's a call from Australia. Oh, that. that's my mum. Just one. Mum? Hi, mum. What happened? Pete's mum has been taken to hospital. Yeah. And what did they say, mum? What kind of problem could it be? If it is, they could fix it, right? And although the doctors think it's nothing serious, Pete's concerned. Uh, mum, please. All right. I love you, mum. Please look after yourself, mum. Please, please. please. All right, saga. So All right, saga so popoli, mum. Okay. Okay. Right. 
Well, I hope so. I don't know. We did. What's the name? I don't know. Are you sure you want to do this now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. No, I guess I'm on more, more tender hooks with Mum because you know, I'm more sensitive about her getting sick because she's so stressed with Andrew. And I'm just hoping that she'll be okay. You know, the next few weeks will be. Just, please God, just uh, I just don't. My mum is the best person in the world. She's the best, nicest, sweetest lady, and I don't, I don't want anything now. Uh, you know, please God. We've got Hello Magazine star, new yeah. Woman's Own oh, reveal. Oh, okay, yes. closer woman and TV choice. Yeah. They have all been briefed. This is obviously about 60 minutes. Obviously, I think probably after the Pride of Britain Awards and the pictures, people are probably likely to ask you more questions. First on site Pete begins his interviews, and it's a positive start. I saw some photographs of you wearing paint blasted overalls. So, can we trust you with a paintbrush now, do you think? Um. It's... no. No, not really. But it's soon clear that the journalists only have one thing on their minds. Okay. <laughs> so if you had 60 minutes to make over something in your own home, what would that be, Peter? I want, you know I want you to say a nursery for the new baby, don't you? Um, are you busy decorating a baby room then? Haven't, I haven't started, but you know what? I'm looking at things. And obviously you're halfway through your pregnancy now. How are things going? I'm, I'm, I still feel very pregnant. And um, how did Princess and Junior feel about having a new addition to the family? Are they really excited? I think they're going to be over the moon. Do you have any names that you like? I wouldn't, no. I wouldn't go there yet. You know me. Are the kids still bugging you about getting married to Emily? Um, they're always bugging me. They know I'll do the right thing, don't worry about that. But I will, uh, it'll be between me and, um, and Embolism. Have you got any more 60 minute questions? Uh, no. <laughs> At least you're honest, love. It was a very good set of interviews, but of course, you know, Pete's fresh from the red carpet at Pride of Britain, you know, they've showcased the bump for the first time. There was bound to be lots of Emily questions. All right, doll, take care. Have a good week. Bye. 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 Of course they're going to ask questions about you know, wonderful M's and that, and I don't mind at all. You know, it's nothing I haven't said before, really. But, you know, I know how to handle things a lot better now, I think, I hope. Coming up... <laughs> Pete causes a stir. They've probably left some woman mid-wax to come and see Pete John Jay. I mean, you know, what more could you ask for? Oh, my God, it's amazing. I feel like I'm going to faint. And it's centre stage for the Andres. Real special moment to have four of us up there. Really felt special, to be honest. It's 7 a.m. and already all systems go at Pete's. Morning. Did you sleep well? So why'd you get up so early then? Oh, because, well, I was not tired. You will be by the time you're halfway through school today. Dad, like, Vista. look behind you. Made you look, made you stare, made, made you lose your underwear, underwear, made you buy another pair. Well, I haven't had a coffee yet, but it's all good. And after a quick caffeine hit, it's time for an early morning spelling test. No. Like, I know what's going on. K-N-O-W. Might. Like, I might go to school. M-I-G-H-T. Show. S-H-O-W. Busiest. Daddy! B-I-Z-Z. -Z. I'm surprised. Because I you're getting everything else right, I'm busy at work. Oh! B-I-Z-Z-Y. No, Junior. B-U-S-S. What? Luckily, the test is short-lived. As it's the Andre timekeeping, not spelling, that's causing a problem. Come on, mate, honestly. You're being really slow today. This is wrong. No, I know, I know, but you, you can't be late for school, and you know that. Right? Stand up for a sec, son. You know I can be exactly on time. 
They can be exactly on time. Some people are even early. Come on, quick, quick, quick. And as the children head off to school, it's the start of a packed day for Pete. He's off to London, where he'll have to do business rather than spell it. Here we are at Olympia. There's some, I don't know what, I think it's all beauty and there's a, something going on. <laughs> I should know, shouldn't I, but I don't. What I do know is it's a more industry affair rather than a public affair. Luckily, Gemma is more clued up. We're showcasing Pete's perfumes today to a trade press because all the people, beauty buyers, that are going to buy Pete's perfume, you know, if they see it's a success here, then hopefully they will all buy it into their stores. Hey, the wizard! Outside, Pete and Carl are settling in nicely. Why are you pulling face? Why are you looking at me? Because if I turn to look at you... <laughs> <laughs> Massive crowd out there. Is it? Yeah. All the beauty buyers are all keen young women that quite like you. Oh, I can't have a field day out there. <laughs> but Pete's not the only celebrity reporting for promotional duty. Hey! Is that a child? <laughs> Oh, hello. What do I look like? Hello. Friend Amy Childs pops in. How are you? you okay? God, you look awesome. Congratulations! Oh, you know, oh, you know oh my no, God. just joking. I know, oh, I know. Congratulations. Do you know what? She's more than five months. She's tiny, isn't she? Tiny. Oh, it's, it's lovely. It's amazing. Okay. Time to go in, isn't it? I know. How Please. is it out there? God, so your stand really is getting really big. Oh, it's mm -hmm. packed holiday. Packed. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Look at you clear? going all so what is it? Oh what would you God. call my look today? Gemma Gemma Wheatley? Fifties. Um well God. you've got the fifties hair going on, but I don't think they would have worn that in the fifties. Inside the hall, manager Claire has set up shop. That's the evening one and that is the day one. I think I'd make quite a good saleswoman. I feel like a market still straight in Olympia. And she's hoping a surprise visit from Pete will boost sales. Hiya. <laughs> Olympia is full of women and um, it's going a bit crazy. These people are all coming up in their uniforms. They've probably left some woman mid wax to come and see Peter Andre. I mean, you know, what more could you ask for? Oh my god, it's amazing. I feel like I'm gonna faint. Oh. I nearly kissed him on the lips. Yeah, and I tried, <laughs> but you've said none of it. <laughs> These people haven't come for Pete, they're here to sell. They're here for their businesses and their, their industries, and it's mental, and there's still a massive queue. It, it's crazy. And Pete's presence is creating the sweet smell of success at Claire's stand. I wear it myself, I love it. <laughs> While Pete's taken off on promotional duties, it seems even Carl is falling for his charms. Things normally happen to me when I've had a glass of wine. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but I fell through it and he's having an interview and everything just fell right into the place. After an eventful day, Pete has to leave. It's gone really well. Absolutely brilliant crowd. I do apologise, ladies, but unfortunately we've got to go. We just got to get again. Yeah. He's impressed. And, uh, that's the most important thing. Always in a rush, always dragging him out, kicking and screaming, but uh, it's the nature of the beast. Thank you for I'm sorry, guys. That was really good, actually. You need the support of people, the suppliers, the people that are selling it for you, the retailers, very important. I like putting a business head on. Despite an already busy day, Pete's still on the go. It's 
three minutes to six, I've got to shoot off to go to Junior's parents' evening and then get back in time uh, for Chris to perform on stage. Can it be done? Yes. Will it be done? Possibly not. Uh, am I about to attempt it? Yes. Let's go. Pete's off to see brother Chris perform his first ever solo theatre gig. But as always, it's the children that come first. It's so important, you know, going to the parents' evening. I mean, it, well, it's the most important thing. So we're here. I've got five minutes to spare. Yes! A few miles away, Chris is preparing for his big night. This is my first ever theatre show of my own, so I'm very, very excited about this. Having toured all over the world with Pete, tonight is going to be extra special. Tonight's the first time that I can, with pride, invite him up to my stage, and I'm going to bring him on for the encore. Ladies and gentlemen, my brother Pete. Come on. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. Across town, Pete's evening is going well. Parents' evening was excellent. Uh, we had a really good chat with Junior's teacher, but I asked if there was anything that he does that isn't right, and they said, he just needs to tone it down a little. He sort of, um, he's got to learn to put his hand up. <laughs> um, and uh, I thought that was a very fair comment. Following a good start, Pete's looking forward to a special night. I've always been Chris's biggest fan and supporter because he inspired me a lot. When I was younger, the only person I'd ever go to to talk to about music was Chris. And everyone else said to me, stop wasting your time. They, didn't, they weren't being mean, but the family were like, stop wasting your time, concentrate on your school, and forget this music malarkey or whatever you call it. And Chris was like, you can do it. And that's always stuck with me. So Chris is like a big inspiration to me, you know? And as the audience take their seats, there's just time for a sneak peek backstage. I can talk here, because I want to talk about it. Oh, oh, hang on. My dressing room. This is Chris's dressing room, can I just say? It doesn't matter that there's nothing on the door. I know it's my It should have been... The boss should have been put on this. Come in, come in. Chris, Chris, Chris. Proud of you, man. Ah, How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. It's just so nice to be able to come and be on the other side. Well, I, I don't know what to do with myself. That time, sit down and enjoy I'm it, thinking man. I'm supposed to be doing push-ups right now. There's <laughs> <laughs> no chance I'm yeah, going to do them, mate. I'm going to be doing that. No, I've been the world. <laughs> It'll be excellent. That's what I always Chris, I'm say. honestly Sorry. really proud of you. Have you really had two tequilas? Yeah. Oh, well done. I will. I will. Let's have another one. <laughs> Where are they? Let's go and get them, guys. Will you please put your hands together for the wonderful Mr Chris Andre? Today is a family affair, but for once it's not actually going to Pete's concert to support. We're watching Chris. This is what he's always dreamed of doing, and I hope it's the first of many. Any time that we can get to spend together as a family is a special time. What a fantastic audience you've been for me this evening. Right, ladies and gentlemen, for 20 odd years I've been invited onto his stage as a special guest. It's taken me all these years to reverse that. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure and my honor to invite to do the encore with me, ladies and gentlemen, my brother, the Mr. Peter Andre. Chris, thank you for allowing me on your stage tonight. Yeah, you got it. It, it, was good, yeah. it was good going backstage to your dressing room. Yeah, you got that right. Now, before we do this, can I please invite my other two brothers up on stage? I yeah. know, uh, please. <laughs> Honestly, our family is everything to us. Um, and Chris, you're the oldest in the family now, mate. So you've got the biggest responsibility on your hands. And you're a good, good man, and we love you, brother. I dream of you waiting for you to see I'm still here. Starlight, moonlight, 
what you deserve. Get up with a candle, music, by your words. If you give me this chance, we could have the perfect night. Let's see. Everybody, come on. Shooting star, We could have the perfect night. Thank you very much, everyone. Wonderful guitarist Michael and Danny Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Oh, what an absolute amazing life. I have never, I know how good you, you are, but I've Chris. never, I've never You're, seen you like that. It's literally brilliant. I think Chris has got a new life now. I did ask him afterwards, I said, out of everything you've done in your life, does that top it? And he said, yeah. So that was, he is at, at 50 years old, just peaked. Now let's, let's do what they do on our tour. <laughs> The truth of the matter is, Chris just completely blew me away. I never thought I'd sound so proud. I thought it would sound, you know, patronising, but honestly, it blew me away. Thank you very much, oh, man. man. Thank you. So it meant everything. Nice. It really did. It meant everything to get all my brothers on stage, obviously. I wish we had um, my brother Andrew with us as well. It's such a shame that he wasn't there to see it, but that stays in the in the archives up here, you know, and that's priceless to me, that is just the top. Chris, I need to hug you, man. He, 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 he it was a real special moment to have four of us up there. It really felt special, to be honest. It's an incomplete circle, but we're, but we're there, you know, and it was so nice. That is a manual breast pump. Coming up. I'm freaking out with all this breast pump talk and stuff. There's a scary shopping spree for Pete. I'm having heart palpitations. And he keeps the children abreast of his plans. If one night I want to feed the baby, she can. She's... Uh, I want to... Oh, how do I explain this to you? It's mid-morning and Pete's got a rare day off. Emily McDonald's. You Ooh. look stunning, darling. They're looking at photos from the Pride of Britain Awards. You look very brown. Why were you so brown? I'm Greek, dude, you know. Very nice. And we're the same height. Well, this is a sort of an illusional thing. That illusional? This is a thing that I did happens. have heels on as well, you know. Everyone thinks that she's way taller than me, but let's stand up now. No, sh no shoes on. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on, hold on. Right. right, we are pretty much. Pretty well, much. You've got shoes on, and I. We're about. We're pretty shoes. much exactly the same. I've got trainers same. on that have got nothing. But we're on. the same, like pretty much, aren't we? Yeah, Dead on. So a lot of people think. There we go. Anyway, whatever. Who yeah. cares? You are tall and beautiful. Not that you've got a complex about it or anything. <laughs> As if I have. I haven't got the tall man syndrome. Small man syndrome. Oh. Um, Just a small man syndrome. You look really nice. Really, really nice. You look nice too. Yeah, I know. No, I'm just joking. I do look proper bumpy, don't I? I think you look gorgeous, no matter what. You're carrying my child. With the baby on their mind, it's the start of an important day. Pete and Emily have come to a shopping centre to finally start their baby preparations. I got my flat boots on. How's this? On the same size? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and while Pete has the obligatory coffee, Emily's prepared the mother of all shopping lists. Baby sling, breast pump, nipple shield. Yeah, that's the things that are not for you to read. I've you never get, done this before. I do need to get an espressing machine. Oh, I've got an espresso machine at home, which is brilliant. So I need to get one of those, which is very unglamorous. I do that what do you mean? So what happens? So you put it in a bottle? 
Yeah, I'm not going to repeat the conversation about that or anything. No, but obviously you ex express it into the bottle. What, so there's a machine that you use to express the milk? I was like, but I've yeah. never... He was thinking literally like a milk pail, like milking a cow. Well, think about it, right? <laughs> what, what, what's the difference? Straight into a bucket. That's what you were thinking, wasn't it? No, well, I thought... Don't I, deny I, it. I, I honestly thought it would be like... You'd open the lid of the bottle yeah, I know. and you would do that. That's what I thought you would do. There's a machine. With that cleared up, it's time to hit the shops. It all starts well. Should we get some trousers? And Tom. Oh my gosh, look. Thing is, what do we get? Little tiny, tiny ones, or should we get medium ones? But it soon gets a bit much for Pete. This is the question. Oh, okay, this is where you're freaking me out. I don't know. We yeah. should get some little vests. Yes, we've got vests. some little vests. We've got some little sleeveless ones. This there. time I wasn't prepared um, for I it. I would say new baby. And I'm like, yeah, I haven't seen someone this small in a long time. Get their arms. Exactly. No, much more easy. It's just the underneath is the way forward. Long. That's it. See, so I quite like that. That is a manual breast pump. And I was going to go for electric. Breast pumps? Is that achy? Yeah. With your hand? Yeah. I'm freaking out with all this breast pump talk and stuff. Should we keep moving? I would love that. Oh, I'm having heart palpitations. Pete, what do you think about this? Love it. No, no. Oh, that sorry, doesn't count. You haven't seen it. But after an initial struggle... What are you doing? I don't know. My hand can't come out. Can you help me? Oh. Pete soon finds his feet. Snoozy Safari, play Matt, Matt and Jim. He's getting more into it. Have you noticed? He's now like, I want one of those travel play mats, please. He's getting into it. Aqua's nice, though, isn't it? Whatever you want. Aqua, I'm having yeah. Aqua. Yeah, I'm I'm happy happy with that. It's so exciting. Yes, I've got one. It's lovely. Is there other baby powder you want? Or we should get talcum powder, yes. yes. Do you want lotion for after? Yes. I found something. Yeah? This is, oh. it's, it's called, you can lay them down or you can sit them up. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I absolutely love it. Good spot. OK, brilliant. I'm excited. Well into it now. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, bless. They are the best. I've been excited about getting one of these. They are the best. Sorry, This is the one. It's nice to be able to go around and pick everything from new and never know if we have more, then we'll have everything already. Which is perfect, although not for a while, because I'm not sleeping very well already. So I'm happy leaving a few years. <laughs> I know where well, we can take the baby for its first vacation. Cotswold. Why? Cots. Oh. oh, that's... That's quite funny. <laughs> Happy. Very. It's been a successful trip. It's all real now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's all real. And it's got Pete thinking ahead. I've won Father of the Year awards, and yet I have no idea what to do yeah, in a natural birth. How would you know? Because you've never seen a natural birth. Are you going to say something like, oh my God, the contractions are starting? Or are you going to say, my waters have broke? What, what are you going to say? I don't know. What, what would you say? it's different for each person. Is a midwife coming over or something, did you say? The midwife's coming over in a few weeks because... To talk me through? Yes, because I know that you're a bit unsure. I think you'll feel happier about the birth thing. Because don't get me wrong, it's, it scares the life out of me. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm literally terrified. Yeah, you but would be. I'm lucky, obviously, I've seen it all lots of times before and I know what to expect. So I think when you've seen the midwife, you'll be able to ask her all the questions. She'll be able to tell you loads of stuff. So I know it sounds really silly. Come here. Oh, my gosh. Oh. You're going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Finally, Pete and Emily get their baby booty home. That is it, I think, for now. We've got a lot of stuff, haven't we? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm looking at it and thinking, oh my God, I don't even remember picking that up. But there's no time to unpack as Emily's off to visit her parents. It's their first night apart in two months. Oh, 
Bye, Bye. honey. Bye. Bye. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't like it. Bye. And rare time alone gives Pete the chance to reflect. I'm a little bit sort of overwhelmed by it all, a little bit, you know, nervous because it did come unexpectedly and stuff like that. And, you know, to me, in my mind, when you're having a child with someone, it's the same commitment to me as getting married. Like, you know, you're... It's a bond. I hope I make her happy. And I hope I make the baby happy, you know? And with everything on the up, Pete's heard that his mum is feeling much better. Yeah, she's fine. She said that she feels good. She went shopping. So that made me feel very, very relieved because my mum has been so stressed since she lost her son. She is 78, so... It's scary. I mean, it's scary, all right. Back at the house... Try that. Tell me if it's okay, sweetie. I hope it's not too hot. Lovely. And Pete's on dad duty. Did you brush your teeth? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Bista, yeah. we've got to go to bed now. Come on. Dude, what are you wearing for trousers? They, they're a girl's leggings, dude. I don't care, man. What is I that? Care. I'm chilling about at my home. Get upstairs. Care. There's no. Does it care, man? Does it care, does man? It care, man? Get... You're wearing girls' leggings, eh? Yeah, man. Does it care? Oh, no. But Pete can't resist a stop off in the soon-to-be nursery. Now look, I'm only showing you a little bit, right? This is baby, baby stuff. stuff. Now look, this is I a monitor that. and it plays music. So whenever, if the baby la, starts, la, yeah. La. There's this. Look. This thing so we can take with us. Oh, I want to be baby again, please. We've got all the bottles and stuff, but don't forget, she's... Uh, the milk that Emily's going to do... Is breastfeed. Is breastfeed. And so there's these, there's these little kits that can help. So if, for example, say that I want to... Oh, how do I explain this to you? Say I'm going to watch Emily breastfeed the baby. No. Actually, hey, actually, no, it's actually very natural, so you can watch it. But listen, there is a thing that she does, right? If one <laughs> night I want to feed the baby and I want her to sleep, she can, using a certain thing, get oh, the milk from her into, into the, the bottle, bottle and then I can feed the baby. Yeah. It's really amazing. And with that off his chest, it's Pete that needs a bedtime story. Mr. Greedy came to my door. It was, without doubt, the biggest door that Mr. Greedy had ever seen. And he's excited about the future of his growing family. Baby will bring us even closer together, there's no doubt. You know, it's a, it's a common bond now. You know, the baby's going to be Junior and Bista's brother or sister. It's a whole family, isn't it? Next time... We're spreading the love in New Orleans, man. Pete goes stateside with Emily and the children... ..where they get caught up in Halloween fever. The only thing that's making me feel better right now is I'm going out with Pete and he looks like a complete clunk. <laughs> Pete puts on an impromptu performance. Would you like to make it in America? Yes! He's got the gig. And his expanding brood is brought closer together. I feel more like we're a family now. I'm getting kicked in the face by my baby. We're close, we're close anyway, but trips like these are just memorable.